Hi guys, it's Dr. Danny Warren with Generations Health and Wellness Center, and I want to share with you what we call in our office, we call it the correction of the month. See, when patients come into our office, we do a full examination evaluation, and that includes taking x-rays of their spine as well, because we want to know what their spine is at, at that present state, and where the health of their spine is. And so, what we do is, based off the x-rays, based off the exam findings, we might need to set up a, a series of treatments and a recommendation for them where it's going to take six months, year, or even, even a year and a half to two years long to help restore their spine back to the place where it should be, back to better, healthier alignment. And now, what I'm about to show you is a patient of ours, she came in when she was 65 years old with back and neck pain, and when she came in and she took an x-ray, she didn't even know that she had scoliosis. So we actually found out that she has scoliosis, and we do, we work with a lot of patients with scoliosis, and we've seen some really awesome results. So I want you to take a look at this one. This is, I'm gonna scroll up and down here. Um, this is their first x-rays when she first came in. This is looking front to back of the spine. When you look front to back, the spine, the spine, the spine, the spine should be straight up and down. If you look at this one, the curve here in the upper back, that's a 19 degree curve. So just so you understand, when you look front to back, the spine should be straight up and down, which is at zero degrees. If it starts to shift off to the side, anything under 10 degrees is not considered scoliosis. When you hit that 10 degrees and above, that's considered scoliosis. So you have from 10 to 25 degrees is mild, from 25 to 40 is moderate, and from 40 above is severe scoliosis, and that's when they recommend putting rods in your spine and doing a surgery so that way your spine doesn't collapse because that's what will happen because gravity will cause scoliosis to get worse over time. So here's what happened with her. She had 19 degree curve right here. As I go down just a little bit, that middle one, this was the big curve in her mid back, mid to low back. That was 31.4 degree curve. That's a moderate uh, degree of scoliosis. And then down here at the bottom, she was actually at 20 degrees. So it went from mild, moderate, and mild 19, 31, and 20 degrees. And I'm going to show you her new x-rays. This is a year of care. The 19 went down to 14, so it's not perfect yet, but that's a big change. The 31 degrees went down to 18.6 degrees. That went from moderate scoliosis, which in the medical field, moderate scoliosis is where they usually wear a full plastic brace that keeps those curves from getting worse. So this is without the braces, with the adjustments and exercises and stretches. So again, 19 went to 14, 31 went to 18, and the 20 degree curve went down to 11. That's an awesome change. Guess what's happened with her back pain? No problems. She's doing a lot better. She's feeling a lot better. She's functioning a lot better. Her health is a lot better than it was a year ago. So what I want you to know is with scoliosis, with these uh, poor curvatures, or if your posture is being thrown off, if your posture is thrown off, that's a sign that you have misalignments in your spine. These can be corrected, and I really recommend, if you can't come into our office, recommend going to somebody who does corrective chiropractic care, and that's where we can actually add to the adjustments. We can add some stretches. We can add some exercises specific for what you have going on that's going to get you the best results possible. So that's our correction of the month. Uh, you can look for some more coming down the road, but I hope you got something out of this, and have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.